Good morning and welcome to today's public hearing. The time is 10.02 a.m. on Monday, January 27, 2020, and we are in conference room one on the 20th floor of 100 Church Street. My name is Patrick Scotty. I am Executive Agency Counsel and Market Manager of the New York City Business Integrity Commission. Thank you for attending today's hearing. The Commission is conducting this hearing pursuant to the requirements set forth by the City Administrative Procedure Act, commonly referred to as CAPA. The purpose of this hearing is to receive comments from the public on the Commission's proposed rules governing heavy-duty trade waste hauling vehicles. The Commission published the proposed rules in the City Record on December 20, 2019. We also disseminated a copy of the rules via email to all New York City local elected officials, the managers of all 59 community boards, several media organizations in the city, and other interested parties. Lastly, we posted the proposed rules on both the Commission's and the New York City Rules' websites. Local Law 145 of 2013 gave the Commission the authority to promulgate rules necessary to enforce the provisions of Section 24-163.11 of the Administrative Code. Local Law 145 of 2013, which added Section 24-163.11 to the Administrative Code, requires that every heavy-duty trade waste hauling vehicle that is owned or operated by an entity required to be licensed or registered by the Commission and operating in New York City be equipped with either one, an EPA-certified 2007 or later engine, or two, utilize best available retrofit technology as determined by the New York City Department of Environmental Protection before January 1st, 2020. Under Section 24-163.11d5 of the Administrative Code, the Commission may set by rule the criteria for establishing procedures for owners and operators of heavy-duty trade waste hauling vehicles to demonstrate compliance with the engine requirement. The proposed rules require an owner or operator of a heavy-duty trade waste hauling vehicle that has a pre-2007 engine and utilizes best available retrofit technology as defined in 24-163.11b of the Administrative Code to obtain from the New York City Department of Environmental Protection a decal labeling the vehicle as compliant with Local Law 145 of 2013 and to place that decal on the driver's or passenger's door of the vehicle cab. Additionally, the Commission proposes changes to the penalty section of its rules. The final proposed rule change clarifies that BIC will not issue license plates to vehicles that do not comply with the requirements set forth in Section 24-163.11 of the Administrative Code. That concludes the summary of the proposed rule changes at issue at this hearing. You may present an oral statement for the record or submit written comments concerning the proposed rule changes. Additionally, the Commission has been accepting written comments on the proposed rule since the publication in the City Record and will continue to do so through the close of business today. The Commission will make available a copy of any written comments that are received in connection with today's hearing on its website. The Commission will carefully review and consider all comments and submissions and make any changes if the Commission deems them necessary. The rules will go into effect 30 days after they are published in the City Record. Since there is no one currently in attendance who has signed up to speak, uh, we're going to go to a short recess and ensure there are no stragglers attempting to get through security. We'll go off the record. Thank you. All right, the time is now 10.16 a.m. and we are back on the record. During the break, no members of the public arrived to give testimony, so we will now close the record for this hearing. As a reminder, we will continue to accept written comments through the close of business today. This hearing is now closed. Thank you.